Germany is preparing to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Official events take place on Sunday. CNN's Jim Clancy was there as it happened back in 1989. Now, Jim, that wall was a symbol of isolation, of despair. You were there as it was taken down. It must have been such an emotional scene. Walk us through it. Well, it certainly was, and it caught a lot of people somewhat by surprise. There had already been things in the works. You know, it was not just a political but an economic crisis that confronted the, the German Democratic Republic, the GDR, East Germany. They were having their support removed by Moscow. There were a lot of things at play. They had seen thousands of people flee the country already through uh, other places like Bulgaria going into Vienna seeking asylum. They decided they had to do something, and it built up over the week. Here's a look back at one of our reports, the detail that week. Monday, East German leaders promised a new travel law they hoped would stall the flight to the West of tens of thousands of skilled workers. But experts said it was too little, too late. This is a very important step, of course. Uh, but I do think people will more. The experts were right. Tens of thousands of East Germans took to the streets of Leipzig Monday night to demand just that. Many were outraged the new travel law permitted them only 30 days a year in the West. As the pressure mounted Tuesday, more than 40 members of the East German cabinet resigned. Leader Egon Krenz promised free elections on Wednesday and more freedom of assembly. But the people were already assembling as they wished. And even the resignation of the ruling Politburo of the Communist Party failed to appease demands for still more change. Egon Krenz is really has his back up against the wall. The watershed came Thursday. The East German leadership recognized their backs were against a wall, the wall that had been their armor of isolation for 28 years. It was open. <laughs> After almost three decades of separation, Germans of East and West embraced in a common victory. Some came because they wanted to test whether it was true. Others, embittered by years of repression, came vowing they would never go back. By Friday, the flow of East Germans crossing into the West became an unstoppable tide. Border guards stamped visas until it became obvious that tide and the enthusiasm that drove it couldn't be slowed. Today is my birthday, and this is my best present for this birthday. Wonderful. It's wonderful. It was just that kind of enthusiasm, people power, if you will, that brought down this wall, Jane. And we're going to celebrate it this week, November the 9th, special occasion here in Berlin. Yeah, and it's just so remarkable that it's only been 25 years since the Soviet empire crumbled. And you got a front row seat to all of it. But tell us about this weekend. What sort of celebrations can we expect? Well, we're going to have a lot of music, but uh, we're going to have a lot of other things going on as well. We've got thousands upon thousands of people pouring into this city. Many of the tourists who have come from all over the world have joined me this morning along this east side gallery. This is a place where they can come and look at one of the longest sections of the Berlin Wall still in existence. A lot of people think they should have left more of it as a reminder, but people hated it so much they wanted to get rid of it. People come here today. They want to pose for pictures. They come in their tens of thousands. At the same time, one of the big things that they're going to do is they're going to have a wall of light, as they call it, and they're already erecting these portable light stands that will go the entire length of what was a wall that surrounded Berlin, a special occasion. Those will all be lighted. What a scene that is going to be. Peter Gabriel is going to be in concert. So much more. Hope everyone can join us.